Hey guys, it's Friday night and uh, some of you might be out at a pub and if you are, usually the special on a Friday night is fish and chips, a classic. And this is my take on beer battered fish and chips. Now, you follow me camera guy, come over here and have a look at this. I've got some nice golden brown beer battered fish and chips with my homemade tartar sauce, a side of green peas and some french fries and a drizzle some um, uh, lemon juice on that and it's ready to serve. So if you want to know how to make this, stick around. In this episode of Cooking in HD, I'm making beer battered fish and chips. Well, let's start with our tartar sauce. Uh, the main ingredients for the tartar sauce will be about a cup of mayonnaise, about uh, the juice of half a lemon. I've got some sweet gherkins here, finely chopped. Also finely chopped, some yellow onion. Um, I'm gonna use about a tablespoon or two of capers. And for something a little bit different, I've got some pickled onions and I've minced that into this bowl right here. And I'm gonna mix everything together. All right, now that's all mixed in. Let's give it a little taste here. Mm. Nice bite, a little bit of sweetness, tanginess. It's good tartar sauce. All right, let's go over our ingredient list. I've got uh, five cod fillets here. These were previously frozen. If you can get fresh ones, all the better, uh, but that's just what I happen to have. I've got a plate here with just plain all-purpose flour in it. I'm gonna use that to dredge the, uh, the cod fillets in. And then in here, I've got one cup of flour, half a cup of cornstarch, and half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. And to that, I'm going to add my beer. This is a Sleeman Cream Ale. It's a Canadian beer. It's good, I like it. And I'm gonna dump the whole uh, 355 ml bottle into here. And what I'll be looking for is the consistency of something like pancake batter. Now in goes our beer. Now this is cold and that's kind of important because that means that we won't get lumps. Okay, and I'm going to start to whisk this and fully incorporate everything. All right, now check out the consistency. It's very much like pancake batter, which is what I'm looking for. And I've just added a little bit of salt uh, and uh, I'm not adding pepper because I've got cayenne pepper in there and that's gonna give us uh, just a little bit of heat. So this is just the right consistency and I'm gonna, okay, so I'm gonna take my first piece of cod and what I wanna do here is I'm just coating it in the flour and try to just use one hand because this is gonna make it dry. And then the next step, I'm gonna make it wet by putting it into the beer batter and I'm gonna use my other hand for that. So I'm gonna cover it with my beer batter. And once I've got it nice and covered, I'm gonna take it over to my frying pan and just drop it in. All right, let's do the next one. Okay, so this hand for dry. Throw it in the beer batter, and then this hand for the wet. And I like a lot of beer batter on mine, so I'm just gonna just absolutely cover it. All right, so these are done. Let me show you what they look like. All right, we got nice golden brown color on there, so I'm gonna plate these. But first I'm gonna put them on a paper uh, towel plate just to let the, the grease run off, and then we'll plate them and I'll show you what the final product looks like. Okay, so here's what the final product looks like. I'm serving it with french fries, some green peas, and I've got uh, two fillets on there, and this is my homemade tartar sauce. 
You can see the nice golden brown uh, batter on them. And then I'm just going to take this lemon, drizzle it on top, and it's ready to serve. So this is my beer battered uh, cod fish fillets served on a Friday. And uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to having this with a, a glass of my Sleeman Ale. Cheers.